How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today is the big day. Today we change the Drew Peacock channel forever. We have a new project amongst us, a new JDM car that I promised you guys. Then I thought back and I remember this one incident where people were saying I was hating on a car because I couldn't buy it, because I couldn't afford it, because I was jealous. So I bought one. here back with another video and today is a big day we're actually taking in the supra to get swapped so it's going from a 2jz ge motor to the 2jz gte It's just perfect just stu -du -du -du, stu -du -du -du. but drew does it two-step let me show you <laughs> His car is a supercharged Huracan Performante. Um, I, I believe maybe E85 or a little bit, maybe a mixed blend or something. And he, uh, the kit I believe claims 870 crank horsepower. Can I get a garden hose? Yeah. The racetrack tomorrow. Oh, uh, you got uh, race fuel in there? No, I was just E85, but like the, the car has been fine. I've had no issues. Yeah, I don't know, no. but the hood is on fire, like the front of it. And they're, 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 um, putting water on it right now so the fire's already gone but we were literally coming home and we saw cops just turn into our street and we were just like oh my god it looks like they turned into our street as soon as we got close to our like home at the corner it was literally like the police was in front of our house and we just saw this in front and it was guys it's gone the whole the, he's 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 having me record right now but i mean he's talking to the police right now but Yeah, I mean, he, he was supposed to, he paid for the event tomorrow, and he was supposed to go, but it's, yeah, the car is gone. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, he's probably upset right now, but he's just, like, nodding his head all the time.
yeah, he, they told him to go grab something. Um, they told him to go grab something right now, but um, let me turn off my car. And hold on. No, it was it was parked. Yeah. And then, like, we saw a cop pull, like, we were literally, like, in front of the Dodge, right, just heading this way. And then we I, we saw a car, like, pull, a cop just pull in, like, into our street. We kind of were like, oh, that's so funny. It looked like it was in our street. So as soon as we turned, we're like, oh, okay, there's a fucking cop right in front of Andrew's car. And we look, and there's a big-ass, huge fucking flame. Like, literally huge. And it was, yeah, Andrew's car was already on fire. Did somebody did it? I don't know, because, like, I don't know. I mean, the whole front end was on fire, so maybe, like, I don't know if something caught on fire under there, but, like, why would it if the car's not even on, and I don't know. Well, the fire department left, and, uh... We're left with ashes. Yeah, we're left with ashes. Well, I already, I already like, had my quiet phase and stuff, so if it seems like I'm a little jovial, I'm not, but, uh, you know, it's just, there's nothing I can do about it now. It burned. They think, uh, they think it was the fuse box, which, I mean... The car's been running fine, you know. I guess a small thing could have happened. Maybe when I was loading it up on the trailer, it pinched the harness. There's a million possibilities. Like, not a million, but there's a few. There's a handful of possibilities. But they say it could have been that. I mean, I, I, I talked to a couple of my buddies, and they're like, you don't think someone tried to burn it down? And I'm like, no, I'm not. I don't, I'm not going to, you know, stancy pants the situation or anything like that, you know. I, I think it was an electrical fire, and um, it is what it is. It just sucks because I wasn't here when it happened, and so I, if I was here, I, I definitely could have stopped it somewhat. I could have, I could have contained it, but um, yeah. So uh, I, uh, you guys probably aren't seeing this video until way, way in the future because I'm just gonna handle this privately until then, and then once it's all handled, then you know we'll get the rebuild going and stuff like that. So yeah, um, fun stuff, fun stuff, cool. Super happy. It was hurt. No? <laughs> uh, yeah, there's, I don't know. There's nothing you can do in these situations. I just try to laugh, but um, hopefully the block's okay. I'm going to look at it with a flashlight right now and kind of look, but it should be fine. That should, it gets hot anyways. I'll just have to rebuild it, but it should be solid. Well, guys, there's no easy way to say this, but uh, here she is. Um... Looks a little barbecued, if you ask me, but, uh, yeah, it was a fun day. Ugh, god damn. My girl, look what they did to you. Look what they did to you. This is what happens when vandals come. They just don't let people respect all builds. No, I'm joking. I'm not going to take that uh, approach to it like some other influencers that have their cars torched. But no, this wasn't vandalism. Um, this was just literally pure accident uh, or just randomness, I guess. I wasn't even home when it happened. So the clip you guys saw was me pulling up, literally just dropped off Orion at my parents' house. And me and my girl went to Ralph's. I bought some stuff for the race event and it was on fire. It was like my worst nightmare. Um, and it took like 30 seconds for my brain to process it. And after it processed, it was like, well, there's nothing I could do. You know, I did get the garden hose and I was spraying her down as best I could, but it was across the street. It wasn't much I was going to do to it. Uh, it was burning real hot, as you can tell from it literally melting my intake manifold. Um, so my little garden hose wasn't going to do a whole lot. So I know it seems like um, maybe I'm nonchalant about it, which partially is true, but it's also been a few days. This wasn't last night. Uh, this happened thursday night and it is now tuesday so i've already looked at it i've already like you know griefed a bit and all that stuff so even though it seems like i don't care and i'm happy it happened i'm not but there, again there's nothing i could do about it you know the bad the only thing i could do is get to work on returning it to its former glory which is exactly what we're gonna start doing right now 
I couldn't touch it until I sent photos to my insurance company. Obviously, I don't want to tamper with anything. And uh, they just asked for photos. And so now I'm just going to kind of clean up what happened. I just, I'm still not going to remove anything because they might send an appraiser. They said they weren't based on what I told them over the phone of what all the damage was. They're like, well, sounds pretty total to us. And I was like, yeah, it looks pretty total to me. So we're just getting the ball rolling in that direction. And then we'll either buy another MK4 and swap the parts I need into this one. And I'll have two. Or I might buy something else and swap that motor into it. I guess we'll see what my uh, super homies think. Um, but either way, I'm going to end up with, you know, still a thousand horsepower car because the motor does seem okay. Like the day after it happened, I popped off the valve cover and it looks healthy. It looks good. It looks clean. Uh, we're still going to pull the motor and do a tear down and like inspect everything just to be safe. But the good news is the motor's okay. The bad news is turbo probably isn't okay. So I guess we're going to have to get a bigger turbo womp womp. And the intake manifold obviously isn't okay, so I guess we're just going to have to upgrade that as well. Boo-hoo. A lot of the little shit isn't okay, but again, completely not the end of the world when it comes to the car. Like, at the end of the day, it's just a car. Um, I've already had many thoughts of, like, worst-case scenarios. If this would have happened in the garage, again, it just randomly happened. Car wasn't on, car wasn't running, nothing. It could have happened at any moment. And it happened outside on the trailer, which is like best case scenario. If that would have happened in the garage, whole house would have came down. Um, and my other car, which was here at the time, would have came down too, the Mustang. It could have happened at the track, which would have probably been a total loss there. Like whole car would have been toasted because I doubt there's a fire department just ready to go. You know, it, maybe it was uh, something, something bad was going to happen at the track. And, you know, this was my, my, my little saving grace of protecting me. I don't know. It, there's a million different ways you could look at it. But the silver lining is it happened out there. The, dan the damage is mainly in the engine bay. The interior is a little smoke too, but you know, it's, it's definitely not nearly as bad. Like the interior seats are okay for the most part. Headliners scorched and uh, we're going to need some new carpet, a new dash, but I know just the guy for that. So again, not the end of the world. I've just been itching to try to start pulling everything off of this thing because I really want to get to work on it. Like I really, like I would have already had the trans and the motor out and everything probably primered and painted by now, but uh, obviously I have to wait. So we will wait and we'll do some minor cleaning up today because I'm not going to risk like anything happening with insurance. One thing I do want to say though, is I will probably never run another turbo blanket other than Funk Motorsport ever again. This thing was in a fucking fire. Uh, this is old. That's old. This was in a fire. I know it looks like it was in a fire, but like it's not gone. <laughs> All the other carbon is gone, but the, the blanket is just, it's impressive. It's really impressive. This isn't advertising. I don't, I'm not even sponsored by them. Hopefully after this I will be, but damn. Like look at everything is gone, but the blanket is fine. That's crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna go get like a trash bag and we'll start moving all this into there. All right, so one trash bag and a full vacuum later and the passenger side looks pretty good. I mean, I know this doesn't look good, but this is all like easily sandable and repaintable it's just the paint's gone the engine looks pretty good too um a lot of the the miscellaneous like debris is all gone a lot of it's down there as well which isn't going to be fun but uh it's cleaning up pretty good the dash is smoked it looks more smoked than i thought um yeah so it's, uh, it's pretty bad but uh it's pretty pretty okay at the same time Luckily, the car is not made of aluminum because that shit would have been all toast. Anyways, uh, here's what's left of my E-Fans. If you guys want to buy them, uh, they should work. Just need new blades. Everything else, though, isn't, isn't uh, in working order. But, yeah, uh, I'm going to continue. I don't know how to unlatch my hood because the cable melted or, yeah, it's, it's gone. So, I might have to take an angle grinder to that and just pull everything else off. But, yeah, uh, so far, so good. I know it doesn't look good, but 
in my eyes, this is this is going pretty smooth so far. Okay, so I'm getting a little carried away, but I pulled off the intake manifold, and ironically, I don't really want to touch it because I took off my gloves, but the seals are actually intact, which is a good sign, um, and obviously the runners are intact. We're not reusing that, but I'm just saying, like, that's a good sign that the heat didn't really get towards the block. It was mainly just in this area, which is where the fuse box was, but, uh, yeah, got that off. The head looks good. Um, the port plugs are still purple and all that, so that's kind of cool um next up i'll probably start doing the i'll probably take off the intercool and all this fun stuff but i'm gonna take a break from it and uh, i'll just get back to it when i feel like it so yeah we'll be back all right do you guys want to see something crazy crazier than this i also went ahead and pulled the radiator i'm sure my ac condenser eh, it actually looks okay it just looks dirty um pulled the radiator pulled the the hood uh what's left of it pulled the little cooling tray cover um, pulled off a lot of shit, right? I thought the radiator might be okay. Spoiler alert, it's not, but look at this. The fan shroud actually melted and made stalagmites that went into the radiator. And like, this is what like punctured it. But like, it was so hot that this aluminum just melted and just stalagmited right into the bottom of the radiator. And uh, that's where it's punctured. So yeah, it's punctured right down here. Just probably from going in there. And then expanding as it cooled that's my guess so need a new radiator that's like the least of my worries um but yeah it's uh it's coming apart it's coming apart uh everything is nice and loose so that's cool i think the heat expanding and shrinking just loosened everything up so yeah i'll uh i'll keep i'll keep at it okay fast forward a couple months sorry if i look a little crusty i'm in the middle of editing the super video and yeah i've been hiding this from you guys for a while, every live stream that I've done in here, every time I've been working on the McLaren, the, the Mustang, or the Honda, it's been here, just scorched underneath the dirty car cover. I'm surprised nobody has, has pointed out how dirty the car cover is and how I'm just using the Supra as a bench. But uh, yeah, it's it's been chilling here. Um, only a few people knew. And like I said, I was just trying to keep it under wraps just until I was done with insurance and everything like that. So all that squared away. We are now getting all of the parts for it. Um, I know a lot of people are gonna say, Drew, it's a lost cause, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> nothing's a lost cause, brother. You got enough stupidity in your brain and nothing's a lost cause. Uh, I already have a painter probably picked out for it. You know, one of my close buddies, Lucas, we're actually in the middle of touching up the paint on the Mustang. I took it to him today, and so I'm gonna start working on that, get that all squared away. That way we can see how he does on that. And then he's really eager to paint this, but I had Chris, uh, AKA Supermarket, help me get a parts list with our uh, close friend Richard, who's out in Australia. So literally, we have a whole parts list of everything we need. We have uh, connections to get everything. So again, I know it looks daunting. The daunting part is going to be just cleaning out everything and just starting fresh. That's literally the daunting part. The rest of it is just hooking everything back up as if it's a brand new car. So I also went ahead and checked the metal in the area where it was the hottest. And I mean, uh, besides the surface rust and the paint kind of everywhere, the metal looks fine. I mean, it looks like this area got the hottest. Maybe this is where it all started. But besides that in the surrounding area, it doesn't look like the metal's toast. I mean, it was hot. It wasn't burning that long. We're gonna check everything once we get it completely stripped and we'll see if there's any discoloration or any crazy bl uh, blistering or something. But I'm fairly confident that this chassis is still good. I never plan on selling this car, so I don't care to post this information. I'm not like trying to hide it from you guys to make sure I hold my value of my car. I don't really care. This is a car that I plan on keeping forever. And if somebody eventually wants to buy it off me and it's a really good price, then this information is out there anyway. So who cares? I'm not gonna be a shady guy. I don't really care. It's, uh, it's a car that I like. It's a car that I'll probably have forever. So I know it looks daunting, but it's gonna be a fun build process and I'll actually be able to fix a lot of things that I wanted to do from the get-go. So I'm looking at it as a plus side. And I already know there's gonna be plenty of people saying, oh, this is some sweet, sweet karma, Drew. It's not, it's, it's just an accident. It's no karma. I've been doing what I've been doing for years and I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. I don't, I don't care. It's, it's literally, this is just what happens sometimes, you know? Sometimes it happens to the best of us and, uh, it is what it is, but I'm not going to sit here and start crying and start a GoFundMe. I'm getting to work. 
And this thing's going to be back by the end of the year. I'm trying to make it to Supers in Vegas. I know we just rushed to get there last time, but we're going to rush again. And we're going to get there this time again. So now that the cat's out of the bag, I can start doing some live streams on this thing. I can start really getting to work on it and she'll be back in no time. I need your guys' opinion though. What color, if you could paint a car any color, what color would look great on a Mark IV Supra? Let me know your thoughts down below. Anyways, that's all I got for you for today. You'll be seeing this car a lot more now. F in the chats for the Supra. Comment down below, subscribe, and until next video, peace.